I'm Yang uh, from Chrome Operations uh, team. So Chrome Operations team is help uh, uh, make Chrome easy to change, um, hard to break, um, fast to release. So I'm here uh, next 30 minutes and uh, tell you about the generic testing and uh, Chrome specific things. So I hope in the next 30 minutes you can learn something. I know there are lots of information last two days, great talks. Uh, I hope this is a relax, you learn something, and I will give the talk links, and you can follow me, uh, follow up with me, or follow up with the team. Um, so the agenda will be uh, what's a test, uh, when do we test, and how do we run tests, and what make a good test, and uh, why should we test. And the last one is uh, I wrap up, see the test contact maps. So what's a test? So before I start, um, can you developer and take the airplane, right? The airplane you built, you tested. Do you have a confidence to take that? Right. So uh, from here, you know, the test is important. Right? Test is a part of the product. So what's a test? Next is a test is something we want to ensure product is ha uh, behaving as we intend. So here we're using Chrome. This is a Chrome University. Right? So a test is something we run to ensure Chrome is behaving as we intend. So the keywords is uh, we. Right? We is uh, everybody. It's not like a testing team test the uh, product for you. It's a, you are the developer. You make sure your features, your product uh, pr as behavior as the intent. So next is a test is something we run to ensure Chrome is correct. So this is something like a functional test. So you make sure your product, your features, uh, as, uh, is correct behavior, is a correct uh, like uh, what you design. So that co uh, could be have a, like a functional testing. Uh, it's have a ad hoc testing. It's a unit testing, and uh, uh, this is all like a functional. So next slide I like that is. Um, oh, I forgot to mention, this whole slide is based on previous uh, contributors. Uh, so this one I like is the performance. So a test is something we run to ensure Chrome is performance. Uh, I like this word, it's, uh, performance is a, a word group of the old performance things, like a speed testing. I think uh, speed is, a, uh, my coworkers will uh, present uh, later. And the other thing is like uh, memory, uh, binary size, um, uh, power. So uh, as a Chrome uh, running on the, let's say running on the mobile, right? So size is really important. So you, you cannot like build the product is correct, but uh, you're using lots of memory or probably consuming lots of power. So in the mobile user will suffer this kind of pain, even though you have very good products uh, like uh, function well, UI well, you get things, but consuming power quickly. So this is a, we need to make sure Chrome uh, is performant. Next, a test is something we run to ensure Chrome is secure and stable. Just uh, uh, half an hour ago, uh, an hour ago, yeah, people just uh, uh, build like uh, uh, the security security related things. Right, they did a pretty uh, very good job. Is cluster is a cluster fast. So uh, finding the hundreds of bugs every year. So we need to make sure. The Chrome is secure and stable. So this is what test to do. So next, so this is a pyramid. It's coming from uh, uh, Google testing broad. Uh, I think I raise your hand, you, you already see this. Right? This is a, in lots of area. So this is like a 70, 20, 10%. So the bottom is unit test. The middle is integration test. The upper is E2E test. Right? The reality is uh, like, uh, Lots of, uh, we need to provide a lot of unit tests and the less end-to-end uh, uh, -end tests. So the reason is you can see the uh, right side. So the unit test is uh, fast, uh, reliable, and uh, debuggable. So unit test is uh, small, is uh, modulized, basically is uh, no dependencies on hardware. And uh, this test uh, uh, is a testing like a function, is a testing like a class, method, uh, integration test is a combination of the like a uh, UI test or some of the special automation tests. Uh, E2E test is most like a manual test or look at the, uh, uh, you compare the two UIs. So in Chrome, 
Uh, we have a two kind of uh, unit tests. So one is a G test. I think a desktop, uh, uh, Chrome desktop is using G test and iOS. And the G unit test is a Java unit test. Mostly it's on Android. Uh, integration test. So you can see the list of them is like a browser test, uh, auto test. It's, it's just a change of name called test. It's a test running on Chrome OS. Uh, Ergre is running on iOS. This is a, a, some block, a black box UI testing on iOS. Telemetry is kind of performance related. And the instrumentation test is an Android uh, scenario test. And the layout test is a blink and uh, check the rendering. So these are all different kind of tests. I don't believe uh, there are somebody know everything. So there's a list uh, in the top is a manual. Oh, sorry, the layout is a little bit tricky. So manual test and the live page test. So think about it. Don't rely on manual test. This manual test is, uh, uh, is the last things you are doing. So you're supposed to thinking about some more like a unit test and the integrated test, more automation. Um, when we do we run in tests next? So, as soon as possible. So when you developer, you design, thinking about the test, right? Thinking about the test code. I have a, a several slides later thinking about what, how to write in a testable code. But as a developer, you need to think about test first, design, and when you develop, implement. So um, test uh, is earlier in the developer process. It's better for your code, code structure. Uh, in Chromium, I'm using here uh, the four steps uh, to, to describe what's the uh, Chromium uh, running, like a test, when we're running tests. So first is pre-submit. Uh, second is a common queue. And then the workflow and the branch. So it's a little bit uh, different to the generic uh, we look at a pre-submit. So in Chromium, pre-submit is kind of when you have a C already, when you up upload the time. Uh, so it's check the configuration, check the format. Uh, this is very uh, short and simple and quick. And then Combi-Q is the major uh, Chromium uh, to check the pre-submit. Uh, the developer have a code ready, and uh, there are a bunch of the tests uh, running. And we won't running everything. We were running like uh, some tests that related to your change. So there's a uh, lots of tests already there in the commit queue. So if commit queue like uh, uh, fails, uh, you are not able to check in. So, uh, oops, sorry. So <laughs> this is the uh, sample uh, from Gary. So you can see when uh, you have a cell upload. So you can see different kind of the tests is running. So green means pass. If, uh, uh, if a red means fail. If a fail, you cannot check in the code. So after you submit the code, right, so that's called workflow. We call uh, continuous integration. So there are some tests. Uh, it's unlike a unit test. It's un, uh, not very stable. For example, performance test. Or some test is taking a long time, two or three hours. Uh, this is not easy to put in the uh, commit queue. Uh, this is running continuously. So we have this test running. So don't be surprised if your, uh, your code be reversed <coughs> because your code is passed on pre-submit, but sometimes it's failed on a CI. Uh, it's a continuous run. So when you get this, you're thinking about how to make your code better or probably uh, how to make your test better. You can catch that earlier. Uh, last one is branch. So when we finish everything, there's a branch cut. So at this level, uh, there's a manual test team jumping, uh, look at the integration test. They run in our scenarios. Uh, there's a other uh, testing as well. Um, so next is uh, how do we run automated tests? Um, I want to specify focus on uh, two, two of the phase, right? CQ and CI, I just mentioned before. So in Chrome and CQ is a, a kind of pre-summit is common Q. CI is a, a kind of like continuous integration test. So here we look at this. Right? Um, people probably uh, like uh, want to ask uh, why we call this a waffle. So I think a waffle is a kind of like a UI of the build uh, Chromium.org. It's uh, you can see the bottom. There's a uh, lots of uh, builder configurations. You can see each each column. So there are different configurations. So green means this builder pass, and the yellow is uh, yellow is uh, still running. Fail is a uh, uh, Fail is red, and uh, this is a, a 
uh, build the Chromium out. Everybody can look at this. So uh, when we run this, uh, before we run in this, we have a three step to configure this test. First is the build configuration. So for example, as are you going to build like a debug or release build? Uh, which OS? Is this Windows, Linux, or iOS, or Android? And architecture is, uh, could be like x86 or ARM. And uh, uh, library linking is a dynamic or static. So this is the first is a build configuration. Uh, next is a test configuration. So you need to make sure what kind of a test type. Is that the functional test or the performance test? Or you make sure this is a test suite. Uh, what kind of test suite you want to run. And also you can set up like a runtime flag. So uh, you can put a different type of flag uh, to run the test. The last one is the execution environment. So this is the OS version. So different to the first one, OS, OS is Windows, Android, iOS. OS version is, you know, Android has lots of OS versions. It could be KitKat, right, L, M, and OP, something like that. So Windows, uh, Windows 7, Windows 10. Hardware is, uh, do you have a specific hardware, especially GPU? Right? You need to run a test, uh, especially on the GPU. Um, this is the uh, workflow, uh, how uh, the, the workflow is running, uh, the whole system is running. So I just quickly go through this. It's uh, uh, probably in the backside, it's very, uh, very small. So um, the machines or the system is keep like a uh, notif. Uh, it's waiting. If a test request comes, so that wake up, and uh, if not, it just keeps sleeping. It's a certain time. I don't know exactly what, how much seconds we uh, just waiting for a request. So first, starting with the compiler. Uh, so compiler is we have a distributed uh, compiler system called Goma. So uh, when we compile, uh, give the task to compiler, Goma uh, finish and give back the all the informations. So we collect those informations. Uh, along with all the test uh, uh, configuration we just mentioned and the uh, test uh, uh, flag, and to put everything and the test resource and to the uh, system called isolate. This is a content addressable uh, storage system. And then uh, give a hash back. And uh, this is a trigger the test. So before, uh, before that, so all the above, if everything fail, so we will got a build fail. So if this part, so they are running a test. So then get the test running, and the, this system will uh, send the user back all the test log with the pass or fail. Then you can check the build system, see what kind of test fail, why this has failed, all the logs. So this is a, a typical, I guess, our system. So this is running parallelly uh, every day. Uh, we have uh, lots of tests running. So one day of testing in Chromium, um, the data is a, uh, is all the data. It's not like a latest data, but still you can see there are 250K plus unique tests running every one day. And there are 650 million test execution. So uh, interpreted to the machine time, it will be like a greater than three years of swarming tasks. Why do we run so many tests on CI? So uh, you may be thinking, uh, why are we running so many tests? So let's do this. Right? So we have a seven plus operating system, Android, Windows, iOS, Mac, Linux, blah, blah. And a four plus architecture. So 32-bit, 64-bit, ARM, x86. Blah. And the two plus models, it's a debug build or release build. And the three plus operating system versions like I said, mentioned it before, right? Each OS have a different kind of version. So total combination will be 100 plus configurations. And uh, unfortunately, we're getting bigger and bigger, right? So like Android, iOS, is keep adding the ver new versions in. Right? So every day, uh, Chrome developers is put the CL in and we're running all the tests, right? Uh, next is what makes a good test? This is an important one. Uh, as a developer, right, uh, writing code to make the uh, feature ready, this is our probably high priority, hey, let's get it done. But thinking about, hey, we need to make a good test. A good test is consistent. So when we value the test, the test, if 
if the test, a uh, good test like a pass and a fail, something uh, behavior bad is a fail, behavior correct, uh, correct is a pass, right? So there are something like we call flaky, right? This is a nightmare for, for us. Right? A flaky test isn't always a test bug. So why is that? So usually flaky test has a, I put the three category. Right? One is a, it could be product bug. It could be infra issues. It could be test bug, right? So thinking about a sample as a product bug. So freaky tests when the uh, product bugs, uh, I believe there are lots of people as a C and C++ developers, right? So let's assume like uh, if you're using shallow copy instead of deep copy. So sometimes it's uh, very hard to find the issues there. You may uh, keep like iterate and uh, simulate a different situation get there. So as a result, the test is uh, keep pass, 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 but sometimes fail. So it's very hard to catch that kind of issues. But this is a product bug, but it's a freaky test. So second, it's a uh, infra. Let's say if you're running server client test, yeah, you are not using Mokito, you're just using server client. So there are so many dependencies. It's a uh, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi adapter, network search. So everything could make your test uh, sometimes fail, sometimes pass. It could be like a freaky on the infra. And also poor test is causing a freaky test. Uh, so for example, you're adding like a notification, you are waiting some UI happens and it's not happening. Oh, easy. What? Just add the timeout, right? Waiting. Now, not coming back, keep adding timeout. So then the test is a, it's a, it's a really bad test because sometimes it passes, sometimes it fails. Uh, Chromium has a good tools. Uh, this is a, a, like a, we check the freakiness. The left side is you look at this is a browser test, I think. And the right side is a, is a huge like a different color. So green means pass. So gray means gray means if, if fail, we retry. If we try pass, it's pass. So you can see black, small black pot, spot. This is a retry fail. So we call this a test fail. All right. Uh, this uh, this site, I think this dashboard is going to be deprecated soon. We have a, a new tools uh, ready, and probably uh, in next uh, couple of months. Uh, stay tuned. So the reason is uh, this uh, dashboard is uh, extremely slow to load. So there are lots of informations there. Um, the tools team is uh, building a new tool like Analysis Chromium Org. So. Uh, everybody can look at this. And if you check the flaky part, as you can see the dashboard. So in this dashboard, is, uh, your test cases have a score. So this score is uh, some algorithm to check how flaky it is. Right. Um, I'll give you one of a sample. Right? This sample is uh, um, the tool is finding out. So you can see the top in the very left, there are 100% pass. All of a sudden, is a drop. Right? The test pass rate is drop. And, uh, the tool is finding out, oh, this is uh, because of the CL56370 causing the, the following test, like a CL is keep failing, pass, keeping part. So then we find a bug, right? So these tools find a bug. Hey, starting from this CL, we thinking this CL has some problem causing this freaky. So next is the, uh, uh, this is kind of the bug. It's a, the, from the tools called find it. So this is a tool like uh, we find it, oh, this bug because of uh, uh, several freaky tests. So we find a bug to the owner. Uh, the other UI is a telling uh, alerts on the Garrett code reviews. So you find it, uh, identify this cell is flaky. So that's the reason you look at the log. And the next cell is uh, sometimes it's, uh, it will be auto revert. Don't be surprised, all right? If I also reverse, that's some freaky test. So when you hit that in the future, please, all right, fix that as soon as possible, all right? Your freaky test may causing other developers lots of trouble and taking lots of time running all, all different build, right? So please uh, fix your freaky part test, right? So based on what I'm, I'm measuring, right? Shouldn't the test uh, just not be freaky? A good test, right? When we write a good test, it should be fast. Running fast is not only the local, 
developer running local. Also, like you're running on the uh, workflow. Right? You can see if you're running your test longer, which means everybody like are waiting for you, for example. Right? We are running lots of tests every day. And a good test have high coverage. Uh, so everybody knows code coverage is important. Right? I'm using this way. It's, uh, a good coverage test doesn't mean you have a good test. But the other way around, a good test must have a high code coverage, or good coverage. All right. So coverage is, uh, uh, we build the coverage tools, um, thanks to the people working on that. So currently in Chromium, we support uh, Linux, uh, C, and C++, and the Java uh, Android. So this is a, a sample. Uh, you can take a look. Basically, uh, we put the line coverage, function coverage, region coverage. Yeah, I think a line and a function is a, is a pretty straightforward. And the region is a kind of like if else and some switch case. Uh, you look at this uh, detail. What's the coverage data is this? And uh, the other thing, the tool is not just to tell you, hey, how good you are. You can dig into the link and see every uh, code, like a code lines. You can see the code is covered or not covered. So this is a pretty uh, convenient for developer knows what kind of codes I'm not covered the test. Uh, next is a test is small. So I would encourage you uh, as your developer thinks, right? Thinking about your code is a more like a modulized, right? So that's easy for testing. So every test is a, the small test will be less dependencies and uh, uh, less flaky. A test is a hermetic. So like I mentioned before, right? If you have a non-hermetic test, like a network right, client and a server, so what's the best way? So first, you need thinking about, hey, my code, the test is supposed to have a Mokido, Mok server. So everything put in the one, uh, one machine and your Mok server. Then you like uh, reduce the, uh, some flaky possibility from the network. So write testable code. So I give uh, one sample here. There's a uh, lots of sample you can find out in the uh, in the web, and uh, for uh, this sample is a non-deterministic sample. So this is a, a very simple uh, function. It's uh, just to check this is even or odd, right? So everybody can read this. So this is very hard to test. Why? It's because that's a line as a random red equal new random. So how can you test? Test means you give an argument. You see the pass and the fail, right? So it's supposed to be like this, right? So this is a, like a function. You put the arguments there. So then you can have a couple of tests, like a given the number is an odd number or given the number is an uh, even number. So backside to look at this. This is really hard. So I give a sample is, hey, when you write a code, you're supposed to write this kind of a code. Or you probably can have another API to call in this even or odd. So that's easy to write. Right. And also the other thing is that uh, there are some code that is using money like a system timeout. So please try to avoid that. Right. You can you can use it the other ways. If you using most like a uh, lots of timeout, it's very hard to uh, test uh, test. Right. Uh, why should we test? A test is an investment. So test is not just oh I write uh, easily. It could write uh, some infrastructure. You, you could like uh, write a test framework to support your idea to run in a, uh, writing the test to qualify your code. And the test is part of your feature. Don't undervalue the test. So as a developer, test is a part of your features. And the other thing is, I would say the test is a part of your feature's future. What if you extend your future? What if you change your feature? If you have a good test, it will be easy for your future development. Um, so we're almost done. Uh, what if I don't know how to test? So first, uh, thanks, Lily. Uh, check this uh, document. So this is a, a public right? testing in Chromium.md. You can look at how to run a test in Chromium. Next, look around the code base. I know you are all good to look at all the other people's uh, testing cases. Next is ask someone who had been around a while. So ask me. Oh, by the way, I'm just one year old in Chromium. <laughs> yeah. 
So you can ask your uh, peers. And the next is ask uh, Chrome Android Pro team. Android Pro team will be uh, very happy to support you uh, how to write a test. Uh, if not, we can point it to people, uh, find the good like uh, mental some sample to you. Um, last is the test contact map. I'm just uh, wrapping up what I uh, mentioned uh, last 20 minutes. So I look at the test is uh, several dimensions. So first is what? What are you going to running? It could be like a functional or non-functional. So I'm just using like Excel. So functional, non-functional. So I don't have a, a like a big loom to to extend all the point. So next is where to run it. It could be like a virtual machine or running on mobile or desktop. I'm just using three samples. It could be have lots of samples. So, uh, when we running, it could be pre-submit running or post-submit or some integration or regression. Uh, how? It could be automation, semi-automation, and the manual. So anytime when your partner or whatever, your clients, uh, your peers ask you, hey, can you run your test? You need thinking about it, not just, uh, oh, I have a test. You need thinking about the combination of this, the point. So I'll give a simple point is this is automated security test run on mobile for post semi. So there's a lots of dimension you can thinking about. I just put the four dimensions here. So anytime you're running tests, you need to thinking about, hey, is this test or is this code work or behavior intended on the like a GPU specific hardware? 